Okay. This was my biggest surprise from the entire Olympia weekend. This Ramon. He just came in here. His Olympia debut. I think he looked amazing. Got massive quads. Huge arms. Like huge, huge arms. Great waist. And he was in way better condition actually in pre-judging. And I'll get over to that footage shortly. This is the night show when he's doing his his routine, so he's a little softer here. But when he came out for pre-judging, I think he looked beyond fantastic. His routine was, you know, to kind of rock music and that and it was okay. That was one of the critiques on him. He just needed to work on posing a bit. He's a bit shaky, and I think it was nerves and pre-judging because his first call out. And like you're about to see, he was standing beside Seabum, who was sort of unbeatable. Not sort of, he was unbeatable. But he was a little better last year, but it didn't, didn't make enough of a difference this year. So here we go. We're going to go into that amazing first call out where Ramon gets a call out and actually gets switched with Alex. And now he's standing beside Seabum. And you can see he's nervous, but man, he definitely doesn't look small. And I'm going to freeze, eventually freeze a front double bicep shot. My main comparison was more with like the Breon, the Terrence, Alex he beat. Ramon ends up in fifth place here out of this lineup of six. But he's not going to beat Chris. Chris has just too much detail going on in those legs, even though Ramon's are bigger from the front. But you'll notice from the back he's got some work to do. So they're just shuffling the guys around here. And, I mean, on this little shot here, you got Ramon looking like he's in a third place. Obviously, that's not how it turns out. And I freeze it here in the front double. You can just see Ramon's arms compared to most of these guys. just amazing. Like, Breon's got those great peaky biceps, but the size of Ramon's arms, tricep, the length of that bicep. He's beating Chris there, but like I said, I'm not comparing to Chris. I'm more comparing to like a Terrence, Breon, and I mean, Ramon's just huge. Ramon's huge in this shot, and look at that core. His core looks great. You can actually see the abs in this shot where you see like Terrence is a bit washed out. Breon's really hard, so he looks great. Now we're going to get into a side chest. This one here. This is like an unbeatable shot by Chris. Uh, the only issue with Ramon here, he's just leaning a little far back, so he's kind of stretching his chest out a little too much. But other than that, I mean, look at his arm. Look at his arms compared to Terrence. Like he's just blowing him out of the water. Terrence got a little, like, neater glute hammy tie in there. But, I mean, I still think I would take Ramon on this. He's just too tall, too big, and it weighs the guy probably by 30 pounds. Uh, Breon's just a little. A little too much to take out. He's got too much going on, too much completeness. And going around here, so this is, we're going to get into the back double. This is the only thing I see that's lacking a little bit on Ramon, just being kind of a newbie into the game here. His conditioning is ridiculous, like his Christmas tree is out of control. You see the gap between the thighs. It's just needs to be filled in a bit, adductor area, some more hams. I mean, that's, he's still smoking uh, Cambernera there to the right, which he beats anyways. Cambernera's back's amazing, though. Um, and that's where he actually is putting up a little fight. And then the guy to the far left, Ursi, or whatever his name is, he ended up getting fourth. You can see his lower body's just amazing. Glued hams, adductors, sweeps, everything. So he was a hard one to take out. Ramon's a front shot guy right now. And eventually he'll complete it all, I'm sure. Crazy vacuum. I don't like the vacuum. I didn't freeze it in the ab and thigh because 
everyone just does vacuums in classic and it's not even like an abs and thigh half the time which i kind of hate um, i love the vacuum and the front double and that sometimes but it's just overplayed but yeah i think that was an amazing amazing olympia debut and he gets into that top five position lands in fifth it's amazing